My name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Fall is in the air and I am getting really inspired to create my fall spaces on the exterior of our home. And so I thought tonight would be the perfect night to work on some easy fall DIYs that you can do with items that you probably have around the house or just easy to find upcycled items. I am loving the crisp cold air that's rolling in and it's really getting the ball rolling for me getting all of those exterior spaces decorated. But since I don't wanna buy high-end priced items at the home decor stores, I really like the option of being able to use thrifted and upcycled to still create wonderful spaces. So during today's video, we're going to tackle some really easy fall DIYs. If you like thrifted, upcycled, and decor item projects, you can check out the playlist on my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Let's get creating. With fall just around the corner, I couldn't help myself but to be super excited when our local McNaughton's was having their fall mums out. Pretty sure I was like the first one in line to go get the mums to put at my new door out front. I really love that they have beautiful colors. I got several different ones to put out front against our white house, which is going to really add that color for fall. Problem is they come in those black nursery pots and they're just not really that appealing. So I thought what a cute idea to use thrifted apple baskets to do some color variations and even add a little custom tag to the front. So the first project we're going to work on is painting apple baskets and creating a really awesome custom tag. I've decided on doing three different colors, a yellow mustard color, a deep green, and a really beautiful rust coral. I think it's gonna really pop with the color of mums I have. And then I can mix and match the colors of mums to the different colors of baskets. So I'm going to use Beauty Tone paint and I'm going to paint this. Now this is just an interior paint. I'm not overly worried about these lasting forever and ever, and they're actually gonna be kind of under a closed porch, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you are, you can choose an exterior paint if you want going to dry brush these and not totally cover them. That way they'll give that aged look. So all I'm doing to get the brushed look is just not putting that much paint on my brush, wiping it off on the side of the can, or if you had a paper towel or something, you can do that too. And just release some of the paint off of the brush. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go over this with sandpaper after and really scuff these up, but I kind of don't want them to be too, too old looking, but I just want them to have that like outdoorsy fall, kind of rustic old apple basket look without being too farmhouse, because I'm not going for a farmhouse look outside, but still fall fresh kind of look. I'm gonna cut it a little bit larger than I think I need it, and then I'll be able to cut it to the right size and shape that I want once I get my picture on. Whenever I'm using my Silhouette Cameo, I actually don't buy actual vinyl that's supposed to go in the machine. What I do is buy contact paper, so it has this blue grid on it. I have a playlist on my channel where I do a lot of wood sign tutorials. If you wanna see how I use contact paper, you can check that out. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to weed out my image and then transfer it on to this piece of canvas. Now this is really complicated one, Philly. I was planning on doing a really detailed wreath with a cute little saying that said hello fall in the middle on this fabric. Problem is I could not get it to stick whatsoever. I put contact paper on fabric all the time and it always sticks. So I think I just went a little overzealous on what my design was. So I've chosen to print something a little more simpler. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing the same thing, weeding out the lettering and getting it onto this piece of canvas. Going to make things a lot easier. I think I was just being a little overzealous with that one. <laughs> Thinking about it now also, I don't think you would have really been able to see the detailing on what I was doing from the road anyway, so this is probably a better option. All transferred off and I'm ready to sponge paint. And I'm just going to use a little makeup sponge and some black paint and then sponge over top of my little design that I have here. I'm going to be careful not to get it off over the side. And so if you have a piece of scrap tape or a piece of scrap vinyl, if you're really close to any of the edges, you can just put a little something there. So I'm gonna do that just so I don't get it on my nice clean canvas. And I'm going to sponge over it and I'm gonna use really light paint application. And then I can always do a second coat if I need to. Dark. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. <laughs> Somewhere up in the clutch. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real, cause when we're doing our thing. If you saw my last trash or treasure video, I actually took out a whole bunch of tacks 
out of some old 1950s mid-century modern chairs. Well, they saved them in a little baggie in case I ever needed them. Well, today I'm going to use a couple of them to tag on my little tag that I put onto my basket. So I'm just going to push it in because no one's gonna get poked or anything. There's gonna be a pot of mums in there. And then if I really wanted to, I can bend them down on the back side. So I'm going to put this on. I'm gonna show you the results of the apple baskets at the end when I actually put them on the porch with my beautiful fall mums that I picked up. So I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. But this DIY number two, I think is super cute and versatile, again, for any season to be able to change it out. I made these wood message boards before where I've written the letters on different wood blocks and been able to move it around. That stays inside and the kids really, really like it. But I thought it would be cute to make one for outside that could really get weathered and it really wouldn't matter if it got wet. And so I kind of just looked around to see what could I possibly find that could be magnetic because I actually picked up two probably not full sets, I haven't even looked, of Scrabble tiles for 50 cents at a yard sale. I bought two boxes, so I paid a dollar for both, but it sounds like there's a lot of tiles in there and I thought one day I'm gonna use these for a DIY. Well, today's the day. And I also have a couple of these dry erase boards that we bought when we went on a trip with our kids because they love to draw, so I thought in the car these are quick, easy wipe-offs. So I have a few of these left, and so I'm going to actually make a message board with magnets, the Scrabble tiles, and this. But I think this dry erase board looks pretty boring and doesn't really look finished and put together. So I checked at my thrift store to see if I could find a frame that would fit this, and I actually got really lucky because I found this frame set here that actually came with this cute paper and glass and everything inside, which I don't need, so I'm gonna take this out. This was only $1.99, and look at how close of a fit this is. Like, so close. It's off by a couple of millimeters only to fit into the space. So I eyeballed it and thought, boy, that's gonna fit, but it really doesn't quite. So I'm going to adjust this to fit in and then I'll be able to make a gorgeous magnet Scrabble message board to put out with my fall decor, and then I can put a cute little fall saying on it. So I'm going to try to disassemble this, and I'm really lucky that this whiteboard is actually magnetic because I'm not sure if all of them are, but it just has this seam around the outside. So I think I'm going to use some tin snips, see if I can cut this edge a little bit shorter and then be able to put it into the back of this frame. Fingers crossed this works. I have two of these in case I mess up the first one. <laughs> plan A, plan B. First, I'm going to try to bend it out a little bit, which seemingly I could do just with my fingers. So that's always a good sign. That actually was really easy. And then I'm going to just, oh dear. Okay, carefully give it some room. Oh, determined to make this idea work. <laughs> a little bit further down. Trying not to scratch up the front is my main goal here. Oh, yay. Okay. How are those tin snips cutting? Not bad. They're cutting really easily. I bought these tin snips to do something for the studio. I'm not even thinking I might need them for crafting one day. <laughs> Maybe to see if this fits now. Yeah. Just needed a minor surgery. <laughs> in on that edge, in on that edge. I just need to get around this. Look at that, super fun. So this turned out really cute. I think it's perfect for what I wanna use it for. And I could actually paint this frame a different color if I wanted to, but I think if I leave it white, it'll match anything I possibly do outside for any season. So I think I'm just gonna leave it white. Plus it's a little bit easier to get weathered on something that already has that protective coat on it. So I'm gonna see how many tiles that came with these kits. Looks like there's actually quite a few in here. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. Cornelia, you are one who will survive. When time's been bad, you put smiles on it. So my third project was a struggle I kind of have sometimes when I'm decorating outside, and that is creating dimension with the decor pieces that I'm putting outside. This is actually the first year where I actually have some steps to be able to decorate now that we've done a bit of a transformation on the outside of our house. 
So I really want to be able to create that dimension by adding some uplifting things without using wood crates or some other objects to prop it up. So I hit my thrift store and found a bunch of items that I can actually use to be able to lift pumpkins or mums up off of the ground. And so I actually already had this one here, which I usually put a plant pot in. But right now, I think I'm going to put this one outside. It's perfectly fine to be outside. I think it's actually original brass, but this is one of my favorite pieces that I own. And then I picked this one up at a thrift store. I'm assuming you're supposed to put a candle or something on top of it. There was only one. Sadly, there wasn't a pair, but it will be perfect for what I want to use it for, for this project. And then I have no clue what this is actually from. Could be from a kitchen fryer, I was even thinking. I don't think it was from a candle or a light fixture. I flipped it in every way. No idea, but I found it for $1.99 at the thrift store and knew that I would be able to use it for something. Problem is, it's not gold, and I really, really wanted gold. So I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it and try to make it kind of replicate the look of this gold patina. It's going to not be quite as old and aged looking, but it's still gonna have the dimension look I'm looking for. Over the past couple of months, I've done a couple different gold projects and had a hard time finding the right gold spray paint. And I actually found this Rust-Oleum Metallic. This is the perfect gold for interior spaces that you're going to find. They often come too yellow, too orange, too brown, too brassy. This one looks amazing. So I'm going to use it for this little stand. I'm out front and I have a whole bunch of pumpkins, mums, and the decor that I created over the past couple of weeks to put out front. So now I just have to decide exactly where I want it to go. So I already have a cute fall wreath on the screen door that I made in my fall wreath video a couple of weeks ago, and I'm getting a lot of compliments. Everyone loves it. And I like having that pop of that mustard yellow. So I definitely want to add a little pop of mustard yellow on our other door. And so I'm going to select other colors for this one and put some pumpkins, create some dimension and really utilize my steps. Let's get doing it. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spent my coin for show. Sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel it. enjoyed today's video if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe i love you thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode